Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today we got the roadmap roundup for July 6, 2022. All right, before we look into this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. A shout out, a big shout out to my Patreons and channel members as usual. All right. Um. So yeah. So this this is gonna be very very big. Um. I'm I'm really excited to see some of the stuff in this. So uh, without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right. So. The very first thing that they mentioned was uh vehicle tractor beams right so they're saying that the uh implementing tractor beams attached to ships either remote operated or a turret like attachment this allows players to move the the tow move and tow bigger objects in, including other ships this deliverable has been added to the eu gameplay feature team and weapon content schedule uh teams schedule so now this is really really good so that means the i think it's the argo srv um it should be coming online soon um this this is going to be needed that vehicle is going to be needed to be able to tow ships ships that have run out of fuel and, and things of that nature right like um yeah to tow tow ships to to be repaired tow ships to like ships that you found maybe derelicts that you found or uh, ships that could possibly be oper um, probably brought up back to um, full um, working shape, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a thing to be able to find a ship and make it your own and then, you know, put the right components in it to make it work. And, you know, so um, that that's going to be what all of this is for. And I'm excited about it. Like coming with 318 4.0 builds, we're going to need vehicles and functionality like this to um to make the the game more in depth all right so the next one is artificial gravity so implementing a dedicated functionality for items uh controlling the gravity per room per room for ships interesting outposts and stations this includes uh player control as part of engineering gameplay awesome this level has been added to the EU PU gameplay feature team. Once again, this is huge, man. Like with the fact that V18 is about to hit um, Evil Cardi, 4.0 is also down the road uh, towards the end of this year and early next year. Like all of this is all starting to come together, right? I'm sure there's a lot more stuff that they're not having been told us yet that's coming, but this is a good sign that a lot of gameplay content is actually on its way. This is this is huge, right? So. This is exciting stuff. So on your ship, you can control where you want gravity to function as a part of the engineering gameplay. And that's awesome. Even with outposts and stations. Interesting. So if you want to take over a station, would there be gameplay loops associated with bringing down the gravity, taking down the gravity? Let's say if you want to take over a pirate station, take down the gravity. You know, in order to get some some sort of strategic strategic advantage, would, would, would that be a thing? That's what it, that's what it sounds like for me. You know, but you guys, let me know your thoughts on this uh, down below. All right. The next thing is the fire rat armor. They have multiple armor variants for the pyro gang. Fire rats. Okay, so that's a new gang. Fire rats and pyro. Okay. Uh, this deliverable has been added to Star Citizen character art teams schedule okay so shopkeeper outfits implementing new generic shopkeeper uniform for various npcs in the persistent universe this deliverable has been added to character tech art teams schedule nice 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 a unified item port fps renaming and standardizing character item port to properly represent their capabilities this includes expanding their capabilities to allow for more types of equipment to be used on the current item port. The deliverable has been added to the character art team schedule. This is interesting because um, just the other night I had um, I had uh, during the live stream, I was playing with, with some of the guys and um, Abyss mentioned to me, man, some of these items, man, eventually they're going to be all usable. You know and that that brought to my brought to mind like man this this is probably what he's talking about here right like if you find let's say one of the things i found um at one of the uh at the reclaimer derelict uh just recently was a wrench on a table right 
it came to mind, man, one of these days, they're going to allow us to be able to pick that up and use it for something. You know what I mean? So uh, it, it sounds, that's what this sounds to me, you know? So, um, so up next is the swimming tier zero. That's awesome. Creating basic functionality for players to be able to swim across surface of body of water, including related features such as entering, exiting, and drowning. Okay. Includes uh, support for hazardous hazardous liquids that can damage or kill players and other characters this deliverable has been added to actor feature teams schedule this is awesome this is awesome exciting stuff man swimming is coming in okay so there's a lot of content coming in man there's a lot of content coming in all right up next is the ai utility implementing the um utility ai behavior the ai will drive vehicles pick up haul pick up haul and store carryables as well as manage the vehicle cargo bay and inventory this deliverable has been added to the ai content team schedule this is huge this is huge because if you think about it in 3 317 2 right we have now the ai um the npc reinforcements right so that means a ship is flying into uh, an, an outpost landing and the ai is actually leaving the vehicle to come and engage you as a player you know so and also we have ai already flying in atmosphere for, for for the bounties right so the very next thing is you just get ai to be able to fly from space into atmosphere land and do whatever they need to do so that's what that's what this tech is so the very next step i'm i'm suspecting maybe 318 i think we may see something like this in 318 where the ai is just going to be living their life right so that's what this speaks to you know the giving them the behavior to be able to you know drive vehicles pick up haul and store carryables and, and to be able to manage themselves um is going to make the game so much more better you know once you actually see ai living you know it makes the it's going to make the game so so much better you know the next one is also going to be related ai commuter implementing a implementing the ai behavior into the game into the game the ai um, will search for means of travel to their destination while waiting for vehicles to arrive the ai will eat drive and check notice boards or timetables upon arrival of the transport the ai will board and embark on the to their destination this deliverable has been added to the ai content team this is huge man that like i was saying they're gonna make ai you know live life within the verse and that's gonna make the game so much better it's gonna be so much more immersive when you actually see ai you know flying to space stations landing you know picking up cargo leaving going down to a planet side somewhere landing dropping off the cargo sell whatever they need to sell or purchase whatever they need to purchase you know and then getting back on their ship and leaving and you know some ai that don't own ships they're gonna need somebody to pick them up you know and um it, it, it's gonna be really interesting to be able to see that man it's gonna be a completely different game honestly to make a completely different game all right so the next one is environmental space missions so implementing um implementation of new missions and scenarios that the player will encounter as they wander and around an area of space this mission that that appears will be based on the probability volumes that the player is currently in this deliverable has been added to the eu sandbox team schedule so what this is is as you're flying around as you're flying, you're not not in quantum but i think as you're flying around based on probability volumes you know ships may show up like ai may 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 um be maybe spawned in um for different scenarios let's say there's a lot of piracy in the area maybe you'll you'll run into you'll fly into a um an npc that's being attacked by other pirates and then you'll have the option to add you either help or you know um and that's 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 what this speaks to all right and then it says new interdiction scenario adding new variants variations and difficulty levels of 
introduction scenarios that players will come across while quantum traveling. This delivery was added into the EU sandbox on Teeth as well. So this is also related, right? So this is essentially the same thing as this, but this one is during quantum traveling, right? So it's going to be interesting, man. This this is a big sign. This is this is huge that we're going to be getting a lot of content coming in, especially coming after 318. I feel like there's going to be a lot of content in 318 and they're going to be adding it as based on how PES progresses, right? So um I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited to see what we're going to have by the end of the year. Um, you guys let me know in the comments below what do you look forward to the most all right let me know in the comments below once again leave a like subscribe i will see you on the next one